Hello, welcome to another Dying Light 2 video walkthrough. I am in NG Plus, New Game Plus mode for the second time with this character, which means that my rewards are going to be different than the first playthrough. I'm also just simply trying to follow the main storyline and then turning on facilities along the way to make life in Villador easier. That being said, I have just recently finished the St. Paul Water Tower so that this area became part of the survivors. As you can see, I've given everything to the survivors. And on my way to find Veronica, I noticed that there's also the South Loop Metro over here. And I wanted to go ahead and activate it as well. It's right down here below us. Simple paraglide down. Gets us to the front door. And we're down in here without getting anybody to watch us. We turn on our lights. This is a restricted area, it says. Restricted area means that it's going to be the renegades that are down here and not the infected. Looks like we need to get back here in this back corner. I am sure the renegades are waiting for us. I have a plan. And the plan is to see how many of the renegades I can get to chase me up here. There they are. Come here, renegades. Come on. Chasing me. Come on. Come on. Ooh, y'all are there. I'm going to head over here. Come on, you're running up there. I'm going to run down here. And while you're running over here... Whoa, wrong way. While you're running over here after me, I'm going to run in to here. Turn on the power. And get down. Awesome. Now, all the renegades are up there, and I am down into the basement of the subway having to turn on the generators. It looks like there are four generators I'm going to have to turn on. The layout of this basement of the metros is all the same. There is a bunch of toxic chemicals down here, and then there are a variety of places where the generators are distributed. There are two sides to this basement. One is behind us as we come out, one is where we are at, and it looks like there are two in this side of the basement and two on the other side of the basement. So I'll show you how to find the other side of the basement and get back as well. So we got one generator over there, one generator back there. Let's get this one first. Simply turn them on, no dragging cables around. Keep an eye on your knee for UV light. here. Let's see, we should be able to do a wall run and get across there. And we're down. Now the fun is to get to the other side. Now the easiest way to get to the other side, and I say the easiest, and it's not really that easy, is getting across to this other pillar and going across those fingertip holes. And that's the gap over to the other side. So let's do that by going across this way. there. Yeah. 
And now we're on the back wall. There's another fingertip hold up there. This takes us around to the front of the pillar that we looked at from the other side. Climb up. And we're up. Now we're on the other side. Looks like there's one down that way. That looks like the easy way to it is right through the top of that crate or whatever. And the other one's over there in the corner. All along the back wall. Let's get over to that back wall. As you can see, there are generators all over the place. We just have to do the right ones. like that jump in case you didn't notice. There's number three. Number four is down there, so let's go ahead and drop down. Out, getting a little bit of chemicals on our system. All we gotta do is get back up out of here. The way back is over in that corner over there. Let's figure out how to get up to there. I don't think we can jump that high. Let's see anywhere else to grab a hold of. Let's go back where we came from, maybe. There we go. Okay, so this one is a... There's another generator up here that we get have to get to occasionally. There we go, now we're across. finger holes here now you've seen we've gone across now you could come across this way but I'm not exactly sure the easiest way looks like you come up from down there but that looks like poison anyway I'm just showing you how I normally get around this See where I can catch up here now. Well, let's go up here. Oh, there it is. We'll tell you that inside of this, this is all the same. And back in here, there's another crate in case you want it. Since it's a freebie, let's go ahead and open it. It's the easiest way back without having to go through poison chemicals. We've made it back where we started this quest. Now we turn on. The generators. Wait for the elevator to come down. Back up to the metro station and we'll have one more switch to throw and then we will be in good shape. Hopefully this is not the first of the metro stations that you try, so you're used to this whole methodology because it's the same. Once we do this, not only do we have a fast travel point, we have a safety zone, and all of those renegades have miraculously run away in fear. I do believe that this one will have an inhibitor sitting right there for you. I don't have any inhibitors anymore. I just get angel dust. There's our bed. There's our stash. And out there's the way that we can go back to 
Town. Hope this helps you. Again, if you follow along and forgot where we are, we are inside of the South Loop Metro. Hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and subscribe. Wait for me to follow up with Veronica.